Hello everyone. I pray that you are doing really well. I want to share a personal issue that I encountered. There is, I help people and um, with some people, I try to be humble, I try to be meek, I try to be what the Bible tells us to be. Not saying I am perfect, not saying I am perfect at everything, but I try to be patient, meek, humble, and stuff like that. With some people I help, I believe they find out that I am kind, that I try to be humble. You know, a person, in most cases, who will not be very aggressive and rude and stuff like that in most cases. For instance, like, how can I explain this? A person who is, I guess you can say maybe like a sponge, you know, you can squeeze a sponge and it has little resistance. Let's say that people see that I am kind and with some people, <clears throat> they may see that as a weakness and some, not all, but some, sometimes take advantage of that and that is very irritating. Very, very, very irritating. I try to be a servant of Jesus Christ. I try to, not saying I am perfect, but I try to do what is right. But it seems like people see it like, okay, he won't say much of anything. So let me do this that I normally wouldn't do with probably most people because most people would probably get loud and cuss and stuff like that. But because it is Kevin, let me try him. Why do I have to confront a person and tell that person, no, you can't do that? And some people are very ignorant I think with some people you try to correct, they may blow up. Like, how can I say that? Overreact. I think some people will overreact and begin acting like an ignorant person, a donkey, if I can say that. So with ignorant people like that, it is probably better to close your mouth and probably stay away from that person. Um, with some people, I think it is no surprise why they go through so much. I think some people have so much pride and because of their pride, perhaps, they get into a lot of trouble because they choose, choose in, an, in foolish ways because of their ego or pride or what they think of themselves. I can see why some people encounter so many problems like their head is, figuratively speaking, their head is too hard.
too much pride, too much pride. And if I were with some people, I remember there was a person I used to help and this person kept on, I believe this person kept on doing stuff. So when I get fed up, you know, I try to correct that person and you know, some things happened or whatever, but this person blew up, blew up, blew up, like yelled at me at the top of his lungs. I'm like, I'm thinking now, I believe that is like a spirit, man. It have to be a spirit to react like that. Because I tried to, I think I text him about, you know, I tried to do it by correction. But I forget how everything was. I think I may have spoken to him and he hung up on me. Then when he got in the car with me, I tried to say some stuff and he just blew up. Blew up. And I tried to, and I tried yelling back and, and I saw that. No, this person, this is not worth it. Ignorance. Some people may say, no one wants to help me. No one wants to help me. I think with some of those people, maybe not all, but maybe some, some of those people may be very, very ignorant and choose to do foolish things because of their pride or maybe they feel like people continue to hurt them. So they may use that as an excuse to choose foolishly, continuously in life. And if you choose to be that way, you get what you get. So what I am trying to say if you are the prideful type, if you are that self-pity type to where you can do whatever you want, no one should correct you, but you can correct others. And if someone dares to correct you, you blow up or you do something that is not right. Shame on you. And if you are that way, I believe more pain is going to come your way. And it is because of you. I believe it is because of you. Something may have happened to you back in the past, okay. But I believe you can control the way you act and what you say for now on. Aren't you able to? So if you choose to say the wrong things, and act the wrong way, and if you run away people who try to help you, who can, who can you really blame? Blame yourself. Let me stop here. God bless you.